Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, over the last two weeks, Republicans in Congress have insisted on playing political games with funding for the Department of Homeland Security. The same agency that supports states like Massachusetts when disasters hit, the same agency that provides grants for equipment to keep firefighters safe when they rush into burning buildings, the same agency that helps train and fund local police, the same agency that tracks down weapons terrorists can use to threaten our safety here at home, the same agency that keeps our borders and airports safe. This is the agency the Republicans are willing to shut down. Why? Why put America at such risk? Because Republicans want to protest the steps President Obama has taken to try to address our country's immigration challenges. This is not a responsible way to govern. This is a dangerous way to govern. There are real threats out there from ISIS in the Middle East to cyber threats to acts of terror like the one in Paris earlier this year. DHS gives funding to state and local governments to help them prevent terror attacks. Massachusetts received over $30 million in these grants just last year alone. If DHS shuts down, that funding dries up, leaving our firefighters, our police, and our EMTs hanging, putting the safety of every American at risk. Think about the Customs and Border Protection agents who screen people traveling into the United States through our airports, and the men and women of the Coast Guard who patrol our waters. They will still have to work those tough, sometimes dangerous jobs but if the Republicans shut down Homeland Security, these people just won't get paid. Tens of thousands of workers nationwide could be working to help keep us safe and not get a paycheck to cover their groceries and rent. That is no way to treat the people who protect this country. The solution is simple. Last year, Democrats and Republicans agreed on a bipartisan bill to fund the Department of Homeland Security. That bill was ready to go until the Republicans decided they wanted to play politics. They decided to hold the Department of Homeland Security hostage to try to force the President to reverse an executive order on immigration. That Homeland Security funding bill is still ready to go. We could vote on it today and be done with all of this and everyone who works to protect our safety would keep on working and keep on getting paid. A few days ago, the Boston Globe wrote an editorial about this, and they said, the game of political chicken has to end with the Republicans blinking. It's one thing to disagree with the president's executive actions, but it's another thing altogether to hold crucial funding for a wide range of security programs hostage. I couldn't agree more. I ask unanimous consent that the full text of the editorial be included in the record. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. Let's be clear. If Republicans in the Senate don't change course, they will shut down the Department of Homeland Security and compromise the safety of the American people. And they will have done it because a handful of extremists in the Republican Party are angry at the President because he's trying to fix what we all know is a broken immigration system. Well, if they're angry about the president's immigration policy, let's debate the president's immigration policy. Last Congress, the Senate passed a bipartisan bill to address immigration. Let's debate that bill again. Or if they want to propose a new bill, let's vote on that. But don't play games with the safety of the American people. The way forward is clear. We need to pass a bill to fund the Department of Homeland Security. Thank you, Mr. President.